touchdown from the 305. Just came from Miami on a work slash light vacation trip and it was an amazing experience. I stayed in a fantastic hotel. Shout out to one of the subscribers who spotted me. You should have just came up and said what's up, but I appreciate you fam. I recorded some amazing jewelry content. You can follow my other channel. Link will be in the description below. But I also swung by Asme Perfumery. Shout out to Maurice who was like the hostess with the mostest. Him and I chopped it up about everything, not just fragrances. We apparently have a lot in common. So very cool dude. If you're in the Wynwood area or I mean Southern Florida, I don't see who else is touching them as far as fragrance lineup is concerned. Like I like going into a fragrance shop and going like, what the hell's that? Who's that? Yo, I haven't smelled that one yet. You got this? I, it, that's the experience when you go into Osmond. It's a smaller space, but they're relocating. So I'm assuming it's going to be a little bit bigger, but they have all the fire niche, like the on the low, ain't nobody going to smell like this vibe. They have it there. And of course I had to pick up a couple pieces and we smelled a good amount of fragrances, but it was something that I really wanted to experience as far as I don't have the easiest accessibility to this one, or let me check that one out or tell me as well as put me on to ones that you think are fire or put me on to some of your personal favorites. And one of them is the first fragrance I think he showed me because I was interested in the Noble 1942 line. So he's like, yo, you got to try this one, see if it's up in your vibe. And we're going to check that fragrance out together. I haven't smelled it since my trip. So let's get a re first impressions right now. Let's roll my music. So I I can put you onto my noble 1942 La Danza de Ella, Le Belleur. I'm kind of a big. <laughs> Bless and morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy C3U to the B to the A, aka Tan Cuba. In the next video, I'll put you guys on to the three fragrances that I brought with me on the trip, and one of them got a decent amount of compliments. So that's gonna be a very refreshing vibe. But now I want to put you on to stuff that remember having any experience or owning any noble 1942 that I can remember. Remember, I get a lot of stuff in lately, and I, you know try to keep track of the shit. Maybe I've had a sample, but this one definitely stuck out. It had this gorgeous apple style note and that shit just caught me instantly. It's like a dope song for me with a song within the first 30 seconds. I don't know if I like it or I don't like it with fragrance. It kind of plays off the same way. And this one is Noble 1942 La Danza de la Amazing presentation. And one of the things that really intrigued me about the brand was the price point. The price point isn't that crazy when it comes to that niche perfumery. It's sub $200 and you get a lot of presentation, a lot of look, and a lot of fragrance for not a crazy amount when it comes to the niche space. So I pulled up the notes on the liar just to give you guys a breakdown and then we're gonna re-smell this joint because it's been a couple of days and I haven't cracked this joint open. I wanted to wait for the actual camera. So the notes are listed as red apple, bergamot, cinnamon, cedar, vanilla, cocoa, and musk. As opposed to what I usually do, I'm gonna go straight on skin with this piece because I've been wanting to smell it. I've just had my nose and this isn't the only fragrance I bought, but I wanna go directly on skin because we was doing so much smelling that day that shit gets lost in the sauce, right? So I just want to go directly on the skin and really get that full blown essence and let you guys know what I feel currently about this purchase. I get it. Yes. The red apple. It is a creamy, almost uh, rice pudding, vanillic, musky red apple. It reminds me of this apple-ish note in um, <clears throat> Get A Room and Confessions of a Rebel, I believe it was. This red apple-ish note, that's like a game changer in this shit, but there's this super creamy, citric, musky, like citrus lemon zest on top of a fluffy pillow of Cool Whip which is coming off of this joint that's almost gourmandy, beautiful, edible, and something about it just, just sends little fucking shivers down my spine. I got mild goosebumps to, oh, they're coming. Yeah, they're coming. This shit was a, a fire buy. I, I, I don't remember what I paid. I don't have the receipt. I don't know where you even put the Osme bag. I think it was like 160, 150 something, which I feel like from that brand, and I smelled, I think, four or five fragrances from the brand, you're getting a lot of fragrance for not a crazy amount of money. And that was very impressive. So it's definitely something that I'm gonna dig more into with that brand, because I really enjoyed the variety and versatility that the brand had to offer in that price point. But this shit, oof, it's 
beautifully balanced, the right amount of unique factor. The red apple peel is gorgeous. The vanilla here is cool whip, airy, just hit with the beaters. The muskiness isn't overly dry, but gives it a nice masculinity along with the woods. A very unisex fragrance, but it also has this subliminal air of like clean laundry freshness in here that makes it a good signature scent balance. Like it's not super bright that only caters to the sun and the musky woodiness isn't so deep that it's fall centric. It has a lot of versatility to be worn on a daily type basis. That red apple is the star. It pops. It's like red apple core slash peel slash a mask after using one of those puree machines, but it's a beautiful vibrancy along with that vanillic note. It smells like just freshly whipped cream apple kind of vibe. This was kind of like a, I smelled it and I was like, yeah, okay, that one, put it to the side because that's coming with me. And he, he said that this is one of his favorites in that lineup as well. And tends to be where he guides people on the entryway to Noble 1942 to kind of show off how the brand is popping off. And that was a great introduction to this house because it left me like, yeah, I'm buying this shit. Bro, it hits so so beautifully, it has this nice decadence, it's sexy, it's subliminal, it's like that subtle flex. This is a vibe, I am absolutely going to be digging more into the house of Noble 1942. Because again, they offered a variety of shit in that lineup at such a good price point. I'm so happy that I got to experience this one as my first, but it definitely won't be my last. Shout out to Osme Perfumery. This is absolutely a ball sprayer because knock my dick off. Love this shit. This is gonna get some burn today. Noble 1942, La Danza de le, le Bilieu. This one. Let me know if you've tried this particular brand, and if so, let me know what your favorite banger is, because I'm definitely trying to get more. I'll see y'all snitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Smooches. <laughs> Mom's crib. It's lost since you never get in. It's lost since you would think that you would.